Ooh, what's going on guys and welcome back to another Minecraft video today I'm going to be showing you how to build this small chapel here It's a little bit smaller than the church that I had before and it's very very simple I tried to make it as simple as I could uh, But still trying to put in a good bit of detail and uh, but anyway, this is what we're going to be building it is a chapel um, So it's not supposed to be a church or anything. It's just big enough just to have um, you know whatever you want in here. I haven't done the interior I'm gonna leave that to you guys, but you can imagine sort of like an altar here at the the front Got a little fireplace here to keep it warm in here. Maybe a couple seats in here um, Maybe like a small place to you know present offerings back here or something um, Stuff like that and then also what you could do is maybe make an entrance down here or something to go underground or underneath the uh, the temple or the chapel here um, but anyway, yeah, this is what we have. We got a small bell tower. We got the typical sort of like the um, the outlaying sort of the sides that come up over the roof. And uh, I really liked that idea. I really wanted to do it on this. And then you got the windows on the ends with the small um, little roofing things. But uh, other than that, the features are uh, not too many. There's not too many features on it, but I think it is a pretty nice design. It's something that you can definitely improve on and definitely um, find things to make it better. But anyway, what we're going to do is go ahead and get started and uh, we'll get this, try to get this out of the way as quick as possible. All right, so our first order of business is we're going to go ahead and set the height to our uh, chapel building here. And uh, I want you guys to sort of look at this. This is what it's going to look like. Um, basically, you have, so we'll start from this corner. All right, so you have, you start in just whatever spot you want. This is the back corner, um, but you're going to go three over on both sides, three, and then one, place another block, three, there you go. So it's three, one, three, and then it's going to be three, one, three, and three. So it's all spaces of three and ones. And then there's a three, one, three there, one, three, and then uh, three, three, one, three. Um, and then you have these little jut outs here. So this is where the chimney is going to be. As you can see this over here, the chimney is going to be right there. And then this is where the bell tower is going to be. And I did this just to show where the steps are going to start. Uh, as you can see, this is where the steps are right there. And, um, but yeah, just a, just little sort of uh, ways to get it all started up. Anyway, I'm going to just do this. You guys can look at that and uh, we can start from there. But anyway, what we're going to do is start from this block here and we're gonna go nine up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, and then the corners, say come, come up, um, these come up seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that goes all the way around. So what we're going to do with this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And for sake of time, I'm just gonna go from there to there. And I'm gonna do slash slash walls um, four, all right? Now what I could do is just simply just make it a mixture of these materials, um, which I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that really quick. So I'm gonna go from there to there. And we're gonna do slash slash walls four and one eight. One eight is that Italian looking stone, as you can see, just like that, all right? And now what we're going to do is go ahead and do these ends. So this is gonna come up to three, and then come up four, five, and it's just gonna be the steady incline, just like this. And this is what's going to um, be the sort of end block of the, uh, the chapel here. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. So it comes up two, and then it comes up three, four, five, six, and seven, and then we're gonna do this side really quick. Really simple, you just kinda build it up. And then you can go ahead and go through that really quick and um, just change it all to a mixture of these two stones. But I'm just gonna do this really quick, just like that. Same thing here. Just kinda go through it and just randomly place it in. All right. So there we go, that is going to be the main structure. Now what we gotta do is put this two wide sort of wall thing all the way around. Now it gets cut off here because of the stairs, but this little two wide wall thing goes all the way around. 
So what we need to do is uh, basically if you don't have world edit, you can just do this. It's really simple to do. But you just kind of build this wall, kind of like a skirt all the way around. But since we have world edit, I'm just gonna do this really quick with world edit. So we're gonna go from here, from the bottom corner over there to two up over here, to, to right there. And we're gonna do walls, actually we're just gonna do the same thing, walls four and one eight. And then voila, there we go. That is exactly what we're looking for. And then what we're going to do is just cut this off. So all of that gets cut off except to there. And um, yeah, so then the stairs go up there, but we'll do that later on. So that's pretty simple. Um, that should give you guys the idea of what we're doing. Now what we're going to do is be adding on these sort of feet. Um, it's what I call the sort of feet of the building. It's uh, things at the end to sort of make sure the wall doesn't collapse over, um, but it's just supposed to keep it uh, nice and, um, yeah, to keep it from collapsing. But um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do this really quick. So it goes one, two, three, stair, and then it goes one, two, three, stair. And that's where the um, thingamagummy is right there, all right? Um, and I actually just remembered that it needs to go one more up. Um, so this is my bad. So we just go from there to there, and we're gonna go slash walls, one, four, eight, um, because this is all going to be stone brick. All along this is going to be stone brick. So we're just, whoops. We're just gonna put stone brick up here, all the way like this. I guess I could have just used stone brick, but it's only gonna be on the sides. It's not going to be across the front. Uh, because of the windows would be in the way. So we aren't going to do that. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and do the feet now. So it goes up one, two, three, and then it goes up like this. And then it goes like that. So just like so, that's what the feet are going to look like. Um, we wanna do the same thing over here. And it's gonna go up to there. And it's gonna keep going up to there. Just like that. And whoops. We just a spot there and then we're gonna do the same thing here it's just really quick just kind of throwing it in and uh, then we can move on to our next portion which will be um, adding in some uh, the windows I guess and then some other stuff there we go just like that and uh, so yeah as you can see it's it's coming along pretty good and um, what we're going to be doing next is adding in the tower and this little step area um, and then probably just getting that little bit of roofing done and also the windows. So I'll be right back and uh, we can continue. All right guys, so I am back and now we're going to go ahead and make this tower. Now it goes 16 high. So we're gonna start from the bottom. We're gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So that is going to be the height of our tower here. Now we're going to go from here all the way down to here and we're gonna make this into a tower. So what we're gonna do is do the same thing, walls four and one eight. Now, um, you're like, well, there's these cornerstones. Yes, there is, and so that's what we're going to do really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this really quick. I'm just going to make the corners into the cobblestone. Alrighty, very good. And so now what we're going to do is add on stone brick, a stone brick cat pretty much. Uh, one there, 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 and there. And then we're gonna change these into what I call the chimney tops. I thought these were 98. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna change these into the chimney tops just like that. And, um, okay, there we go. And so that's what's going to hold up the roof to the, uh, the top here. And we're just gonna do this really quick. We're just gonna grab the, the, the brick, the, uh, the brick half slabs, the trap doors. We're gonna make sure we grab that correct biome. And then we're going to go ahead and grab that uh, nether brick, or that nether brick fences. And we're just gonna go ahead and do this all the way around. Um, but yeah, this is the bell tower, so this is where um, so say if, you know, they're calling everyone to church or something like that, they would uh, sound the bell tower and the people would 
come running across the hills to come to the, the church. <laughs> um, but anyway, that is the bell tower right there. Now, uh, there's is like a little simple thing to add in, which is these this little detail block. Um, this accent block helps a lot. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and add in the uh, the stone brick sort of thing here. So let's see how high that is. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So that is eleven high is where that starts. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And then that's where that goes all the way across. And we're just gonna make sure that this is stone brick in the middle. Um, having this these little breaks is uh, and really adds in a lot of detail, makes it look a lot nicer. And as you can see, just having that little break really looks nice. And so now we're gonna add in this little bit here. This, these come up one, two, three, four, five. So it's really kind of really simple there. Uh, but that goes five up, up the sides of the tower. Again, sort of like little feet. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna do the same thing here, all the way up to there, and then perfect. That's how that works. Now this is gonna have three steps going up. So it's gonna be just like that. And then you go ahead and just fill this in full of cobble. Uh, it really doesn't matter what you make it, but I just made it in a cobble because it just works out better for me. And then for here, you go ahead and do one, two, three, one, two, three. Actually, we'll just, we'll do this instead. We'll use the, uh, that kind of cobblestone. We'll go up like that. Now uh, we we'll go over here really quick. As you can see, there is the, um, it's just normal cobble over here, but I think the cornerstone would look a lot better. And then we'll use the cobble steps just like that. We'll use the anvil and we make sure we use those just like so. So what we'll do is we'll use cobble there and then we'll use the cobble steps and then we'll do this. One, whoops, one and two. And then this is all going to be are those two are going to be like that and we'll make sure the anvil is the right biome so we gotta go through this until we get the right biome now what i am using is biome specific and metadata for those of you that are wondering what i'm using um biome specific is um biome specific and metadata is actually just biome specific oh my goodness i'm really messing up um <laughs> Metadata is a feature that is available in 1.7.10 Minecraft. Uh, 1.7.8 it is removed, but um, hopefully we can get Mojang to uh, bring back in a system that will hopefully uh, have a metadata-like feature that we can uh, transfer things over. Um, but that is the dream, and uh, maybe one day we will be um, supported, but we'll see. But anyway, um, now what we're going to do for the tops of these little bits here is you put stairs like this, like not inwards, but outwards, just like that, and then inwards here. But um, we're just gonna go straight down this side, just like this, and then right here, we go ahead and do something like that, and you put a half slab right there, and you do the same thing here, put the stairs down. So as you can see, it gives that little, uh, that very interesting kind of look that you don't usually see on uh, structures is this little, uh, just how the stairs are, really adds in a nice little detail to the, um, the side. But um, anyway, we got the basic design of the church now. Now all along this is we can go ahead and add in some cobble stairs just to make, just to cap it off and make it look a little bit nicer. So all along the skirt, just go ahead and add in the, uh, the cobble stairs. Now remember at the corners to go ahead and corner the stairs, makes it look a little bit nicer and a little bit smoother. And uh, it looks really, I think it looks nice. I think it works really well uh, for what it is. And we'll do, okay, it's already done over there. So very nice. Um, as you can see, we don't do it on this side, but uh, it still works out pretty well. So now uh, when I come back, we're gonna go ahead and do the windows and uh, we'll get that out of the way. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and pop in these windows really quick. As you can see, it's just going to be really easy. So it's going to be a window there. Um, you go with three in, and it's going to be a window there and there. And then you go one in here, and it's going to be right there. So that's going to be this side. Um, as you can see, you just go two in from there, one. And then you go three over, one, one over, one three over one so pretty simple now for here you go level with this uh, block right there and you go 
once or one over straight down and then that's how that works and then from here you go one over and it goes three up and you do the same thing here and then you do the same thing there so it's basically the windows are just like that works out pretty well I think and then you have another window right here and then you have another window here I'm sorry wait no 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 it needs to come over one more so it needs to be right um right there and right there and then voila there you go you got some windows there you always want to make sure it's two in so it makes it so that there is that support block for the uh the piece or the uh the main wall um holding up the entire building you want to make sure that that's well supported and in the end it works out well so anyway we're just going to go ahead and do that really quick now i forget if i use the cornerstone for this or not i'm pretty sure i did yes i did okay so uh, what we're going to do really quick is grab the cornerstone and just go ahead and do like this and this is going to just set up for uh what we got next which is going to be some stone brick stairs and we're going to place them upside down there and there and then oh, voila there you go you got yourself a door to head in here um now what we need to do is set the ground layer of this building so it's going to go from here to the other side and we're going to do set four and one eight now you can also make now depending on what you use um the floor for like you could like put something underneath this and you could make this into say um you know some kind of like a wooden floor or whatever but i just for this purpose i just decided to use uh the stone floor now if you guys wanted me to see a video or want to see a video of me doing the interior of this you can go ahead definitely let me know and i can go ahead and do that later on so um, what we're going to do now is adding on this little roof bit here and starting to get this thing squared away as far as getting the roof on and all that good stuff so we just want to grab all the things that we're going to need which is basically stairs um stairs fence pieces and hoppers and uh, that's pretty much all we are going to need and maybe that too as well and we'll just go ahead and grab the trap doors as well um, but anyway this is going to go all the way around and it's a uh, really quite simple we just got to figure out the starting point so it's going to start here downward stair downward stair and then it's going to be uh, downward stairs three over and then you're gonna go two up with the oak textured uh, cobble walls and then you're gonna do the sort of the uh, upward sort of thing like that and then you're gonna put hoppers just like that now they look like hoppers now but then you change the biome over to that and then it looks really nice I think really adds in a nice little uh, texture and then you want to make sure that you put some fence pieces under there now make sure it's the darker looking fence piece texture because it looks a whole lot better um, in that texture and now we're gonna go ahead and put some fence pieces here or some fence gates I'm sorry there and there and then that's whoops okay it's not placing place there we go lovely and so that is basically how that place is just like that it looks nice I think really adds in a nice little uh, texture to that and then we go ahead and do the same thing here um, you know it's basically this is going to be the whole way around or not the whole way around but just the sides just like that and then we're going to do the same thing over here but this side is just going to be kind of this just going to be dotted all the way along and then the hoppers are going to go across then the fence pieces underneath each of the stairs just to sort of give it some texture and then we're gonna go ahead and do that and then a voila a beautiful now what we can do is add in a uh, the sort of little the blocks here to sort of make it look a little more depthy um, so what we do is just at the top just add in upside down stairs just like that and we'll do the same thing here just along the tops of the windows all the way around just to make it look a little more yeah like I said depthy <laughs> not even a word but it sounds good I guess oh we didn't do this side over here whoops uh, but yeah we're just gonna do this side really quick over here it's just mirrored um, just like this I want two three one two three and then one two right there and then that's how you do that so now we haven't forgotten that's all good now works like a charm 
and then uh, that looks pretty good. So now what we need to do is add in a little bit of a, um, as you can see, these little window thingamajiggers just like that and that's what's gonna make it uh, look really nice on the sides at least in my opinion it looks it looks pretty good so we we're just gonna go ahead and do this we're just gonna put the uh, half slaps like that and then we're gonna do the same thing here just like that and we're gonna go up and down and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side but it's, it's really quite simple there's really nothing to it it's just you know finding the right place for it um, but yeah it's just like on either side of these windows and then right up here so basically it's just you know up and down just like that same thing whoops and same thing so um, yeah that looks pretty interesting and then what we need to do is add in these bits here um, as you can see those little bits on the side and you add them right underneath the three tall windows now there really isn't um, you know it's, it's really quite easy to put those in it's just sort of accent blocks really makes it look different uh, definitely adds in a little bit of accent looks pretty nice um, but yeah that is pretty much that now we can go ahead and do the door really quick uh, into the the building and in order to do the door uh, like right now the biome is you know very cooperative because the biome is these extreme hill trap doors but uh, just remember that some bi most biomes don't have these trapdoors, so you got to go through it with a blaze rod. And again, uh, if you guys want to use a bla blaze rod, it is not a mod, it is a plugin for your server, and you can go ahead and uh, get it as the biome cycler plugin. And uh, you can get it for your own servers, etc. But if you want to easily access it, you can just join the Raven Work server, and uh, no problem there. So now what we're going to do is add wooden buttons just up like this, all the way to the top, and then all the way back down. So it's really quite simple how that works. It's just going up, 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 oops, up, and then down, 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 and down. And then that is that adds in a good bit of detail, makes it look pretty nice as well. And uh, yeah, definitely adds in some good features. So anyway, the last bit that we need to do is the roof. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and be right back. And then we can go ahead and get that done really quick. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and do this really quick. It's just going to be placing this, the brick stairs all the way along like so. And we're going to do the same thing here, just placing the brick stairs all the way along. Now, I'm just going to do this side and time lapse the other side to make it go a little bit quicker. But um, we're just going to be doing the same thing here. But once you get to the third block like this, it needs you need to uh, steep it, or not steep it, but um, add in a little bit of a detail block just to make it look a little bit nicer um, I think it makes it look a little bit nicer at least you go ahead and add in just a brick full block like that you go through until you find the full tutor block and then you go ahead and just kind of um, you just go along like that makes it look pretty nice just like so and then you go ahead and place that in like so and then you do the same thing up here and you go ahead and steep it now you go all the way to the top. So one, two, three, four, oh, whoops, four, five, and six. Whoops. It's very difficult placing stairs like this. In fact, I think what I'm going to do, because I have the ability to, is just place the blocks like this. And then go through with the metacycler and easily change that over. Voila! And then on the top, I'm just gonna go place like this, and then um, what we're going to do is just place in stairs like that, just to sort of, you know, get the bearings pretty much. So it's just twos, and you get your half slabs, and you go ahead and place that along. Um, it doesn't really matter what design you put on the top, but that's just the design I chose for right now, and it works pretty well, I think. And then we go ahead and do this. Uh, wooden buttons, just like that. And then what we're going to do really quick is adding in the chimney here. And what we need to do is change all of this to stone brick all the way up. Whoops, that is not the type of stone brick that I wanted. So we're gonna have to switch this over to the correct stone brick, just like so. And, um, but yeah, I'll be right back, guys. All right, sorry about that, guys. But anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and place in stone bricks like this all the way up and then we're gonna go ahead and do this like 
that, and we do the same thing like that right there. And then there you go. Now we got the chimney going up. Now we're gonna go ahead and place the uh, cobble fence piece like that. And we'll go ahead and change that over just like so. And there we go, we got our chimney. Now remember to get the cobble texture, all you need to do is get a cobble wall and switch through the metadatas and then you can get yourself the iron texture like, like that. And uh, that works well. So now what we, we've done, we've finished this side of the roof and now I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse me doing the other side. So I will be right back. Alrighty guys, and the roof is now done. The only thing left to do is just adding in the supports for the roof and the sort of the interior roofing. Um, but that's gonna be really simple, really quick, and easy to do. And I guess we can go ahead and add in the bell really quick just to show you guys what I do with that. But basically all you need to do is get a dragon egg, which is I-122. 122 is the ID for a dragon egg. And then what you need is some rope. So we need to go to our cobwebs and then switch that through till you get the rope which is right like that. Um, now typically I use some chain before I put the rope, but yeah, whatever. You go ahead and place, place your dragon egg. Oh, I guess we gotta do that first. <laughs> Forgot the gravity was still on for this world. But anyway, you go ahead and place your dragon egg right. It's supposed to place right there. Here, we just gotta do this. There we go. Gotta to make it difficult. And you go ahead and place that through till you get to the iron dragon egg. And you go ahead and place that there and you make sure that this is a chain right there and then if you really want to go realistic there we go all done easy to go and then we're going to go ahead and just take that chain and go all the way down to the uh down here and this is where they can ring the bell and tell everyone hey church is starting get y'all get you over here yeah there we go anyway but anyway i'll be right back guys we're gonna go ahead and do the um interior of that uh, of the roof and then we'll be done all right guys so i forgot one little detail to add in it's really not anything big but you're just going to add in upside down stairs just along here so you're going to go there there and i'm just going to make it quick you put upside down stairs just like that and then you go over to the other side and you go ahead and put upside down stairs here as well and then that will uh make that look a whole lot better as you can see and now we're going to go ahead and go inside now what I'm gonna do in here is go ahead and place a bunch of torches because you can't see anything unless if I place torches just like that and then we'll go ahead and place one up there and one up there just so you guys can see what is going on so we're gonna go ahead and place in some logs right there uh, along the bottom most portion and this is sort of a uh, way to just keep things you know supported up and you go ahead and put cross logs you go two in from each side and you put cross beams across and then right in the middle of those two you go and place another one and then everything else is just going to be um, the upside down stairs but for f first we're just gonna go ahead and place this just to sort of add in a bit of a artsy bit and you put spruce planks in the middle um, but we're gonna do the same thing here all the way across and then spruce planks in the middle and then guys i'm going to go ahead and time lapse me as i go ahead and put in the uh the, the stair blocks all righty and then there's one last thing to do which is adding in this fireplace and then this thing is done uh, but then again, you guys can add in whatever interior you want. Uh, but for right now, we're just gonna do the chimney. And it's really quite simple. All you gotta do is do that. And you place in two of the brick textures for the, uh, the supports and uh, the brick cobble wall textures. <laughs> and you go ahead and just get some fire. So in this case, I fire, place that light like that and place that light right like that. And then there you go, you got yourself a fireplace. But anyway, that is our small chapel design. Um, it's really quite simple, and uh, hopefully you guys were able to follow along pretty well. Um, it was fun to make. I uh, definitely enjoyed doing this video, and I definitely 
Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, definitely tell me in the comments below what you thought about it. And uh, I look forward to hearing your feedback. But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see more, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share me around your channels, and um, let people let more people know that I am here. That there is a Dukan. Um, that is, yeah. Anyway, um, but yes, I also have a Facebook and a Twitter that you guys can follow me on and stay connected with me. And I also have a, um, a Twitch where I stream and build Seabridge and such. So you guys can follow me over there. And uh, yeah, all should be cool. But um, anyway, guys, I look forward to next time. Thank you for watching. Till then, bye bye